This video shows how to use advanced hunting without knowing a thing about the Kusto query language. It's easy with Guided Hunting, our visual query builder. It enables any analyst to hunt in Microsoft 365 Defender regardless of skill level. Microsoft 365 Defender has two advanced hunting modes, Editor and Builder. The same data is available in both. The only difference is how you build the query. You might be familiar with writing KQL in the Advanced Hunting Editor. It's certainly okay if you're not. It's super powerful, but has a learning curve. Guided Hunting provides a visual, friendly query builder instead, which doesn't require KQL or schema knowledge. Yes, it's visual, but behind the scenes, Advanced Hunting is building the KQL for you. And just like the editor, we provide sample queries to get you started. In Microsoft 365 Defender, select Hunting, followed by Advanced Hunting. Select Create New to choose between the two Advanced Hunting modes. The first is Query in Editor. That's the familiar Advanced Hunting mode using the KQL Editor. The second is Query in Builder, the new Guided Hunting mode that uses the Visual Query Builder. Before getting started, I'll show you around. First, filters select the rows that Advanced Hunting lists in the results. You have the option to see filters for all domains, like endpoints, apps and identities, and email and collaboration, a combination, or a specific one, like just email and collaboration. Selecting specific domains helps you to focus on the filters that are applicable to them. That reduces how much you must look at when you're building your awesome query. I'll start by using the basic filters, which are the most common filters for each domain, to look for malicious emails delivered to user inboxes or junk folders. First, select the Threat Types filter and choose Fish, Malware, and Spam. Then, select Apply to save your changes. Next, select the Delivery Location filter and choose Inbox Folder and Junk Folder. Select Apply again to save your changes. And since I'm just testing guided hunting, I'll limit this query to 10 results so it's snappy. It's that simple. Basic filters provide an easy entry point for guided hunting. However, there are many more filters and conditions available when you enable them. That's next. To view all the filters available in guided hunting, select Toggle to see more filters and conditions. The basic filters I added earlier are still here as conditions. You'll notice the builder uses standard and or logic operators to construct the filters. In this case, the AND operator requires that both conditions be true. The delivery location is the inbox or junk folder, and threat types is either fish, spam, or malware. Select Run Query to see the results. I'll look at these one at a time, starting by selecting the first row. The Sender Mail From Domain field on the first row looks odd, so I'll add that to the filters by selecting the Kebab menu next to it, followed by Add More Filters for Sender Mail From Domain. While I could edit the filter before adding it to the query, I'll just select Add to Query to use it as is. Last, select Run Query to confirm it works. And yes, all the results are from the filtered sender domain. Next, I'll expand this logic by filtering for messages that also have one or more URLs, since I'm hunting for fish at the moment. To do that, select Add Filter to add a new condition, and then, Select the new filter and search for the word URL because I don't know the correct data table or column name. There it is, URL count. Select it from the results and add it to the query. Then set the comparison operator to is greater than. Type zero in the numeric value and select apply. This filter limits the results to those with one or more URLs. Perfect. Everything is ready. So behold my awesome query and select Run Query to kick it off. Very quickly, Advanced Hunting returns the results. While there is great information on the default column layout, you can change that by selecting Customize Columns, choosing the ones you want to display, and selecting Apply. No need for the KQL Project operator here. Advanced Hunting links some of those columns to more information about the entity. For example, select a Network Message ID to open the Email Details side pane. Selecting a recipient object ID would open the user details side pane, and so on. One more big time saver to show you here. Not only can you view the results, but you can select one or more and select 
take actions to act on them right here without ever leaving advanced hunting. Now, I want to show you the KQL for this query, which I can create without knowing a WHERE clause from a project operator. Simply select Edit in KQL to open it in the KQL Query Editor. And just like in the Query Builder, there are conditions for delivery location, threat types, sender mail from domain, and URL count. Finally, select Run Query to see the results. This is a terrific way to learn how to write your own KQL queries from scratch. Guided hunting enables any analyst to hunt in Microsoft 365 Defender, regardless of skill level. And it's a great way to learn KQL. For more information about guided hunting, see our documentation on Microsoft Docs. Microsoft Security.